Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well these tough times. My name is Antonia Sofocleus. I am a lecturer at, uh, of biochemistry at the European University Cyprus in Nicosia, Cyprus, as well as a HAPO editorial board member. Although I am not a medical doctor fighting COVID-19 in the front line, I have managed to secure some of the precious time of a healthcare professional and a colleague of mine at the university, Dr. Kostandinos Tsudis, to give us a brief overview of the current situation in Cyprus. Dr. Tsudis, would you like to tell us a bit more about yourself? Yeah, sure. Hi, Antonia. Hi, everyone. Uh, I am uh, uh, specialized in internal medicine and in uh, infection control. Uh, I'm also a board member of the advisory board of the local uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, Ministry of Health uh, Committee. And uh, I'm also an assistant professor at the School of Medicine at the European uh, University of Cyprus with Andonia. Excellent. Uh, can you please let us know how Cyprus had dealt with the COVID-19 outbreak thus far and what is the current situation on the island? Well, Cyprus has a very big advantage compared to other countries, particularly of the European Union. It's an island. Uh, therefore, it was, let's say, easy uh, for Cyprus to uh, apply certain restrictions that were rather harder in other countries, uh, especially travel uh, restrictions. Therefore, uh, as soon as uh, the first case, the first positive case appeared in Cyprus on the 9th of March, uh, certain restrictions already started being applied. Uh, travel restrictions, as we said, and uh, the other big advantage that we had is that we implemented the contact tracing very quickly, very early in the course of the pandemic, uh, which still now, uh, I mean, in the beginning of uh, May, we are still able to do active contact tracing in the community. Uh, so these measures, uh, as well with the very early uh, implementation of other uh, measures inside the community, physical distancing and social distancing measures and uh, movement restrictions. Uh, these all helped uh, Cyprus and contributed to a very rapid response to the uh, evolution of the pandemic. And we managed to very quickly decrease the active number of uh, cases. And now, uh, 50 days inside the pandemic that we are, we are already planning for the escalation of these uh, measures. Uh, we are at a very safe uh, point right now. Uh, we are at a point where the, the daily number and the daily rate of cases is actually comparable to those of the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, and uh, our healthcare settings are not, were not burdened at all during the whole uh, first phase of this uh, epidemic, which means that we had a, a huge uh, mobilization of uh, healthcare professionals and other resources in order to be able to uh, support these uh, healthcare settings. Uh, so now we up to one third of our patients that were diagnosed are actually uh, in a, in a, are turning out negative for, uh, with the repeated tests. Uh, so now next, um, in two days from now, we're entering our first phase of uh, de-escalation. Uh, we're opening up uh, our small shops. We're opening up the public sector again. Uh, travel restrictions will be uh, uh, relaxed uh, also in the community. And uh, this is why we hope that uh, the situation in Cyprus will stay at a very positive uh, state. And uh, because uh, the summer is also uh, approaching here, well, it's actually already summer here. So uh, Cyprus is actually a, a very high touristic uh, spot and uh, we are hoping that we will be able to support our local economy uh, by these uh, measures uh, throughout the summer. Excellent. Thank you so much for this. Uh, any final COVID-19 related wish or advice to the Hubble community? Well, yes, uh, um, this is a very, a very nice uh, initiative uh, to learn about the Hubble community. And I wish you to keep up this uh, good work, uh, keep getting the word out, because I know that you are uh, dealing with a very important uh, healthcare issue and with a, a huge, actually, proportion of uh, patients all around the, the world who are affected by these uh, by musculoskeletal problems. And we should also note that uh, these persons with musculoskeletal problems and with disorders like this are 
undoubtedly affected by COVID-19 uh, disease. And uh, we all have uh, to make sure that uh, their well-being and their protection from acquiring the disease should be kept uh, at, uh, at all costs. Yeah, that makes sense. Dr. Tutis, many thanks again for your time. Thank you, everyone, for Thank watching. You. Take care and stay safe.